Hello guys, my name is Patricia Wamboi Muturi, or you can call me Joy Blessing. Welcome to my YouTube channel where we do consistent Bible reading. This is my journey, our journey through the Bible. We are starting with Genesis all the way to Revelation according to God's will, how God is going to lead us. That's the way we are going to go. And yesterday we had, we did Genesis chapter 7 and today we are going to do Genesis chapter 8. Yeah. So yesterday we saw how Noah and the animals they went into the ark and it rained 40 days 40 nights and today we are going to look at what happens after that um, because it's not yet dry and they are all inside the ark and they are not yet out and uh -huh, the last verse of chapter 7 we said that they stayed and the waters prevailed upon the earth 150 days yeah so in chapter 8 have my bible and my notebook with me <laughs> i have some yeah that's what i'm looking at and yeah so chapter eight and the wind blew so that god made the the wind to blow so that any you know, the waters can the answer could reduce reduce yeah is anything like that mm -hmm. and the fountains of the deep i'm reading verse two and the fountains of the deep and windows of the heaven were closed and the rain from the heavens was restrained and the waters receded from the earth continually at the end of the 150 days the waters abated yes and then the ark came down on mount ararat yeah yeah and only eight were saved the eight noah the family and the animals that went so we find that now noah wants to know which and we whether the climate is favorable for them to come out and then he first sends a raven the raven goes and it does not come back and then he sends the he sends a dove the dove goes and comes back because it does not find any place to stay then after some days again he sends the dove again the dove goes and this time it brings a freshly plucked olive leaf then it comes back then after some time again he sends the dove and this time the dove does not come back and now he knows that now the he can come out of the ark so after some time when they come out and the earth is dry um, noah built an the an altar for the lord and the clean animals that we say the seven pairs of animals that he was saving the clean pairs the unclean pairs the ones that he was taking into the ark the word says in verse 20 that um, and he took of every clean animal and of every clean bird and offered burnt offerings on the altar and when the lord smelled the pleasing odor the lord said in his heart i will never again cast the ground because of man for the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth neither will i ever again destroy every living creature as i have done so this place we see god he just says that he's not in his heart he says that he's not going to do that again and also we see the aspect of an altar raising an altar in our life and offering the right sacrifices to god and yeah and it pleases god because when noah did this the good smell it went up and god received it and from this god made now the decision that he will not destroy men again like with floods and with water and he says that the imagination of a man's heart is evil from his youth which we had seen earlier and previously as we saw how cain killed the the brother abel and yeah so we need god and every time let us offer the right sacrifices to god and let's see tomorrow in chapter 9 what will happen after this will god say anything he just said it in his heart that he's not going to destroy everything and what happens about noah and how how does he cope after the flood and everything god bless you like the videos comment down below and tell your friends also to join us let them subscribe to this channel and god bless you i love you so much thank you for watching this video bye bye